In today's video, I'm going to show you how to set up a multilingual Shopify store using Linguize. Now, Linguize is a super powerful tool that is going to allow you to translate your store into over 85 languages. Now, basically with this, they're automatically going to translate all of the content, all of the pages, all of the blogs of your website into these different kind of languages, which obviously can, first of all, boost your reach uh, through SEO. Basically, they're going to automate the whole process process, but it can also improve your conversion rate by simply just offering different kind of languages for your customers. Now, Linguas also offers a pretty nice language switcher, which you can see right here, which you can use. So for example, if you would want to see your site in German, you could do so and so on. And I'm going to show you how to set up everything in detail right now. So to get started, head over to the link down below. This will grant you with a one month free trial. Just click on it right here and then click on register and translate now. This will redirect you to this page where you will just have to either register with Google or Microsoft or through your email, which is what I'm going to do. So I'm just going to put in my name uh, as well as my email address right here. And then I'm going to quickly make myself a Linguize account. Right here, we will then have to go through the process of setting up our Linguize account and setting up our page. Now, first off, we will have to set our URL. So to do that, head over to settings right here on Shopify, then head over to domains right here, and then just copy the primary uh, primary URL from your store. So in this case, this would be noelmiller.com for me. So I'm just going to paste this in right here. Uh, and then you will also have to put in a uh, HTTPS. So just put this in right here. And then we will have to select the platform that we want to use. So obviously for us, this would be Shopify. However, Linguize is also going to offer you tons of other platforms, but we are just going to choose Shopify. And then we will have to select the base language that our website is in. So in my case, this would just be English. And now we will have to set all of the different translations um, that we actually want to add. So as you can see, you're really going to get quite a lot of uh, translations option, even stuff like Estonian and Luxembourgish. So obviously, basically, they're going to offer all of the different languages that you are going to need. Now I'm just going to stick with the basic languages right here. And then we can also select that all of the URLs should actually be translated. Now as for uh, SEO purposes, I will actually also tick this right here. So I will just leave this at yes. And then we will have to select uh, the characters that that should be replaced. So for example, I would just select dash, but you can actually also select underscore if you want to. Then click on next step. And now basically you will have to go ahead and install this onto your Shopify page. Now to install Lingwise onto our Shopify store, we will have to put in the language switcher right here, but we will also have to set up some DNS records. Now this is actually super straightforward, although it can be a little bit complicated when you're going to get started. So just open your domain provider right here. So basically just a platform where you do, where you do have your domain and then click on add new record. Then as for this, we will have to select the type CNAME. So add CNAME right here. As for host, we will then have to put in this name thing right here. So just paste it onto this and then put in the content. And now repeat this with all of the different CNAME records right here. And once you've added all of your CNAME records, now add a new record onto this, which would be the text record, and just copy and paste all of the values from right here onto this. Now, I'm actually using Namecheap for this, but the general overview is going to be the same for all of the different providers out there. And once you're ready, just uh, actually just save all of the changes for this. And now you will have to actually check the DNS configuration right here. Now, usually this does actually take, uh, I think around 30 minutes to update. So make sure to just wait. And once this is added, we are going to continue. As you can see now, subdomains have been configured properly and we can now continue with the setup. So now we would actually have to set up our language flags display. Now, right here on the left, you can actually see a preview of this. So either you can use side by side, drop down or a pop-up menu. Now I actually do really like the pop-up menu. So I will just leave it at that. And then we can also set the position. You are basically going to get tons of different options for this. And you can then actually also select if you want to show a flag, I would highly recommend you to do so. However, in some cases, it actually does make sense to actually hide the language name or just put in a short language a name like en for example but in my case i will just leave it at the default now uh, then we can set the language name display as well as the flag style so we can either use rectangular 
more as Orc Round. Now, I would recommend you to leave this at Round as this is going to be uh, better in my opinion. And then if you want to, you can actually also um, select a different kind of flag types. So maybe English could then be the Great Britain uh, flag, for example. German could be Austria, I guess. Uh, and then Spanish could be, I don't know, Mexico. Okay. Now you can actually go through the process of uh, customizing this even further. But for now, I will actually just save this right here. And then we will have to go back to the settings right here. And we will then have to actually set this up and actually integrate this onto Shopify. So to do that, just copy this to your clipboard and then head back to Shopify right here. Now close this tab that we have opened beforehand and then click on the three dots right here. Click on edit code and you will have to find the theme.liquid file right here. Now, then make sure to actually paste this into the head header part of your website. This is really important. So in my case, I will just paste it in right here. I'm going to delete this and then I'm going to save this. Now, if we're now going to click on preview store right here on the top right, we can see that we do have this uh, pop up right here on the bottom left. And if we're going to open this, we do have our different kind of languages. So if you, for example, would want to display this, uh, this whole website in German, we could select that right here. This is going to redirect us to the actual German website. Now, as I'm actually German, I can actually read through this. And I generally have to say that the overall quality of this is really good and you aren't really going to get any troubles when using this. However, if you do want to, you can actually further customize your translations. So right here on the translations, you can actually go over everything and you can even go to the live editor. So let's, for example, open up the German live editor and you can then actually customize everything to your likings. So if you, for example, want to change this thing right here, Krause Kleidung to Krause Clothing, then we would just have to open this. Then we would have to click on add addition mode right here. We would have to select this. And now we can actually just change this to Krause Clothing. Then click on save right here. And now this is automatically going to be updated for the German translation. However, in this case, as Krause Clothing actually is the actual company name of my website, I want this to be updated across all my translations. And to do that, head over to Lingwise and then head over to Rules. Now, this will basically allow you to add general rules to your translation. So in this case, the text to ignore would just be Krause Clothing. And like this, um, Lingwise isn't actually going to translate the Krause Clothing text, which would be my company name. Now, I think Lingwise overall is a super good way to get started translating your store and improving your conversion rate. And the pricing overall is also super affordable. Now, if you have any questions, make sure to leave them in the comments down below and make sure to use the link down below to get Lingwise yourself.